guys a very warm welcome from our city creations we are in part 4 of the bal krishna uh, kerala mural painting till now we have already done how to do the tracing how to do the entire uh, go work in the crown as well as in the jewelry of krishna ji how to do the basic shading of the face the background shading and how to do the initial lining work we have already done so in case you all you've come directly to this particular video then i'm mentioning the links of the part 1 to 3 in the description box below you can refer to those and do your painting till this point don't forget to like our video also press the bell button or the notification button so that you can be notified as soon as i put up my next part of this painting as well so let us quickly start our painting for today in today's painting we will be doing the background work we will finish how to make the leaves in the background work doing different shades on top so let us first see what all colors we will be using so first and the foremost we will be taking out a little bit of sap green the second color that we will be using is a permanent yellow medium color which is a 338 the next that we will be using is a burnt sienna the next is a white and then we have a black we'll be making different shades of green using these colors let me take them out in little quantities on my plate so take out little bit of all your colors so first goes sap green then we have yellow the third color that we need is white so we need a little more of white that's why i've taken out my white a little teeny mini bit of brown and finally very little of black now once we've taken out our colors we are going to make some shades let me show you how we are going to be making the various shades for the leaves here so the first shade that we are using is we are taking a little bit of uh, your sap green color and in that i'm making mixing my yellow so yellow is almost three times the quantity of sap green and i have this light greenish color with me okay so this is little bit of little more green so make it so mainly in the kerala mural style painting only sap green color was used that is why i am using it for authentic purposes next is we are going to make a shade of sap green and in this i'm going to make be mixing my shade of white so i'm just taking a new brush okay very little of sap green very little little sap green you can just mix into this okay, so this is another shade of green Okay, there's one color I forgot to take out. That is going to be a little darker shade of the leaf. That is a little bit of Persian blue, which we had used for the shading of Krishna ji. Then we are going to be mixing little bit of the sap green with Persian blue. So, yeah, this is a beautiful green blue color, and we are going to mix a little white in it. So, okay. we need some direct sap green also i'm going to just make a little bit more of this so with a dot of blue so this is another good shade of green we will be using direct sap green as well and for one shade i'm mixing sap green with blue with a tinge of brown in it this is the forest green color the darker color so now let us start we are going to use a variety of shades for our petal leaves on top of the painting so there are two parts of the leaves in the first part of the leaf in one part use a lighter color and in the other part i'm going to be using my dark on sheet okay 
we might need more than one coat to get the desired finish for the piece here. So in the second coat I am going to do my shading, in the first coat I will leave it at base coat. Now in this other part of the leaf I am now using a lighter shade here. It's better that you make all these shades with you and these shades are available to you in reach so that you can decide which leaf you are going to do in which shades. There is a dividing line to all the shade, all the leaves but I'm right now I'm covering the dividing line with the color so that we are free to do our shading and then do the half line in later on. So this is a beautiful color. Okay. This looks really nice and I'll be doing a few of my half leaves in these. Now we come to the darker shades. Don't use too much water when you are doing these and because we will be doing more of our blending and more of our shading in the next layer. Now I am taking a little darker shade of the same and to do the other half part of this. Now this shade has brown, blue and dark and the sand green component in it. So it's a little darker. Now for this, I'm finishing this. Now we can show a little bit of overlapping leaves behind. So we are going to show use here, I'm going to show an overlapping leaf and here I'm just doing a, uh, another coat on top of the first. So I'm just taking direct yellow and I'm doing the other half just to add a little more color gradation and we are going to give a shade of green in this later. The entire mold punk is going to be coming here. Just for background here, I am just giving a shade of a leaf behind. This is going to be the exact shape of the mold punk and so I am just giving a backdrop here. Now this area is a little left out we are going to make a leaf here just to highlight i'm taking the darker leaf side this way now let us start with our shading bit in the darker side so i'm just making a little bit of my sap green blue and the brown we are making a darker color first we are going to be doing this lighter green and I'm just going to blend a little bit of yellow into it. So just blend in a little yellow and towards the outer side a little bit greenish. Just blend in a little uh, bit of the yellow and green in this. Now we are going to move to our darker shape. So this is our first darker shape. And we can add a little shade with the darker color in this. So 
So I'm just adding a little shade with the blue in the top section like this. Now we are using a darker color in this. Now in the portions where we have done the yellow leaf, just add a very light shade of green on top. Now comes giving the internal line and the finer detail work. So for this I am taking a yellow and we are taking the brown shade. This we will be doing in between. Now to make it more visible here I will be adding white into it. So now this has dried up a little bit. Now let us start finishing work. So for that I am taking my black, I am taking my triple zero and we will start with those parts of the painting which have started drying up. In this you will have to do very fine lining work. So if you are doing this for the first time, I would recommend that you practice your lining work a little bit before you start doing it onto your paintings. First we are going to do the lining work and then we will do delicate white lines in our uh, leaves to make them look more natural. Now we are going to be taking pure white Now we are just going to increase this, just a line in some of these.
Now as our leaves are getting dried up, in today's session we will also learn how to make the pearls. So we are going to make the pearls for the jewelry for Krishnaji and then the rest we are going to do in our next session. So we need only two colors, two to three colors for the pearls. The first is a white. Okay. So wherever you want to make pearls, just create circular circles like these using pure white initially. Again, this has to be done in two to three stages. This white color that I'm taking is plain white. No color is mixed in this and it is neither too dry nor too wet in nature. So this way I have done. And we will also be doing pearls for the necklace which Krishnaji is wearing. So I'm going to just shift my painting. So he is wearing his necklace here. Try to make the pearls as equal in size as possible. We also have some pearls out here that we will be doing. Okay, so this is the mala. Now we are going to be doing pearls here. Now as the pearls, the white dries up, in that meantime, let us make a little shade of grey. So just take a lot of white, add a drop of black to it. Okay. And we are going to be doing slight shading. Using this. Now for that it is really important that your white is dried up. Now we are making a third shade where it's a little more greyish so black will be a little more uh, intensity the the shade of black will be a little more so the if you see if you compare the three tones this is the uh, darkest in color I'm just doing it towards the edges So little dots somewhere and just with a thin brush the very delicate line in between the pearls as well. So do the line in between the pearls as well so that each pearl stands out distinct. Now let me repeat and show you how we are going to be doing it for this portion. So now we are taking the lighter shade of grey. Now since we are taking the lighter shade of grey just do a little shade in each pearl using the lighter shade of grey. Now we move to the darker shade of grey. I'm doing an outline using the darker shade of grey. And some dot or some slight lining inside. Outline we are doing to distinguish between each pearl like this. Now we come to these small pearls. So first I am drawing an outline of these. Now we will give a little shade inside. If you feel that these pearls have a little more darker tinge, then just give, just to do a little more color of white on top. So now, in this way, we have done our pearls and we have finished our leaves. And now we are going to make on in our next session where we will be finishing the other parts of the painting. So I hope you've liked the session till now. Please don't forget to press the like button. Also press the notification or the bell button so that you can be notified as soon as I put up my next part.
and do subscribe to our channel for more videos. And thank you so much for being a part of our session today. See you next time. Bye-bye.